Hi, you're listening to Two Dumb Babies, an animated current events podcast by two comedians who only read headlines. You can't tell me it's too expensive. You can only tell me that it's a stupid idea. No, I'm allowed to be here until the police come. Ethics just hold me back. You know, like friends who stop me from driving after I drank too much. Two Dumb Babies. (laughs) I love good NASA slander, man. That's fucking my favorite. With Willie Simon and Eric Friedman. I would like all of you to know we're not in this together. Episode 40, baby. Episode 40. That's not, I don't think 40 is even like a big deal. It's just a nice, nice round number. 40, 40 <laughs> is usually when things start to like decline for people. Yeah. You know? yeah. So not always a good number. A big deal in people ages. I don't know about yeah. episode numbers. I don't know if TV shows <laughs> usually have a special episode 40. I think that's yeah, a. Yeah, the 40th episode spectacular. <laughs> Okay, fine. This episode doesn't matter at all. Uh, yeah, who except, cares? Except for uh, our rights or something, possibly. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting a new Supreme Court justice because the last one died. It's like getting a replacement dog, except the new dog might take away your rights. Bad dog. Looks like he wasn't house trained and he hates abortion. Purebred figures. The only difference is that new dogs don't usually spend their entire lives undermining everything the last dog did. <laughs> yeah, most they like pee in a corner or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not like a lifelong vendetta against tennis balls. You know? <laughs> they rub their ass on the couch to get rid of the last dog smell. They really missed an opportunity calling themselves the Supreme Court and not the Justice League. <laughs> Yeah, I think the full name is the Supreme Five Layer Beef Court. <laughs> the courts got a lot more efficient when they added that drive through window. Hey, they got my order wrong. It's a death sentence. I only ordered five to ten years. The Supreme Court doesn't even decide sentences. They just decide what happens to everyone else after whoever killed you is already dead in prison. Yeah, or like, who buys cakes? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's either... Uh... Mostly cakes. Actually. I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, that's the biggest. That's the biggest thing. Murder's pretty clean cut. Cakes are confusing for some reason. Can you imagine going to Harvard or Yale and becoming a successful lawyer, getting appointed to the highest court in the country, only then to spend the next forty years of your life just talking about abortion and cakes? Like Supreme Court justices and uncles at Thanksgiving do the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd be making laws, not deciding if gay people are people. Or if black people are people, or if, like, women people are people. Diversity hiring is more important in Hollywood than the Supreme Court for some reason. Well, it's only important for kids to see themselves represented as superheroes, because the real people running everything in this country look nothing like them. (laughs) (laughs) Like, who wants to be a lawyer? Those guys all just spread hate and division, you know? The Hulk. (laughs) Yeah. Black Panther. That's (laughs) what you want to be like. Yeah, kids would rather be the king of a country that doesn't exist than a lawyer. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Dude, I think most adults would rather be a king of a country that doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> or at least get to play one. That's, <laughs> yeah, that sounds way more fun. Yeah, maybe it's not that kids see themselves as superheroes. I think they just see themselves as actors. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> yeah. A little yeah. smarter than we give them credit for. <laughs> they try. They're like, wow, I could be the Hulk. They're like, no, they're, they're thinking, I could be an actor. That's yeah, what they're thinking. <laughs> I could pretend to be the Hulk. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Hollywood superhero pays way better than superhero. <laughs> yeah. Hollywood superhero pays better than Hollywood Boulevard superhero. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Big difference. I think mean, most things pay better than Hollywood Boulevard superhero. <laughs> Hollywood Boulevard superheroes are usually just criminals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this just means I can't physically get hired somewhere that requires a W-9. Just because the guy was dressed up like Thor doesn't mean he didn't rob you. <laughs> the Supreme Court works just like any other part of the government works. Only in theory. <laughs> yeah, it's like black hole space travel. <laughs> like, we know it could work, but uh, we just don't have the technology or the humanity to <laughs> really get that done. I'm like, hey, all right, if nobody's an asshole, this could actually... Hey, I'm going to put a guy that uh, just agrees with me on everything in. C- can you at least let me finish the sentence? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I won't let you finish a sentence. I won't let you finish my term. Uh, Sorry, while you were talking, I took away your right to speak. So, <laughs> so don't finish that sentence. <laughs> I zone out a lot in these hearings. It's They're so boring. <laughs> the Supreme Court is the only job where you can say something hateful at work, and instead of getting fired, it just becomes the law for the rest of the country. <laughs> <laughs> if you shout, women shouldn't have the right to choose while working at Popeye's, you'll get fired. If you say it while working at the Supreme Court, teenagers will have to start flying to Canada. <laughs> 
<laughs> you just see some Supreme Court justices tweeting nonsense bullshit, and you like try and cancel them, and they're like, "No, no, it's a, it's a law now." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that was actually Those things a I said. Yeah, <laughs> that was an amendment. You can't argue with what I said. <laughs> Only people who can argue with what I said are other Supreme Court justices. <laughs> yeah, if you want to, if you want to have a say, you better get elected to the Supreme Court. It's really <laughs> the only way. It's way better than a blue check mark. It's a golden gavel. The Supreme Court doesn't even have a jury; just judges. It's like they know there's a better way to do court without dragging a bunch of idiots to do it, and they're just not doing it. Yeah, why do I have to be judged by my peers and not people who are smarter than me? I don't want to be judged by my peers. Those guys are stupid assholes. <laughs> <laughs> who end up going to jail. I thought that's why we have lawyers. <laughs> no, we have lawyers in case the jury needs to think somebody who's guilty isn't or somebody who's not guilty is. Lawyers should be the only people allowed to do jury duty because they can see through the other lawyers' bullshit. <laughs> yeah, they'd be like, hey, that's Les lying. That guy, uh, that doesn't make any sense. That's an appeal to emotion. <laughs> when, they, when they pick jurors and stuff, lawyers are just like... Who can I trick the easiest? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're like, lawyers and vacuum salesmen have the same kind of skills. Lawyers and presidential candidates when they pick a side. Like lawyers and those guys who like shuffle the hats on the sidewalks. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just looking for a sucker. Once you're in the Supreme Court, you're in for life. Seems like that's the position we should be worried about tyranny coming from, not the guy who changes every four to eight years. Where's the incentive to be good at your job if you can't be fired? This is one of those things where mob justice would be great. Yeah, we should have nine pre-appointed mobs to deal <laughs> out mob justice constitutionally in case the regular Supreme Court fails. <laughs> We could call it mob justices. It's perfect. <laughs> yeah, you have Supreme Court justices, and then you have Supreme Court mob justices <laughs> as a fail-safe. <laughs> Those are the checks and balances I want to see. You know what checks and balances everything? Fire and burning things. <laughs> Yeah, those are the godly checks and balances. <laughs> yeah, the only time I want God in the court is when it's fire and brimstone. <laughs> or like a like a plague of some kind. <laughs> There's no age limit to being in the Supreme Court. You don't even have to be a lawyer. I smell another child labor joke coming on. Dude. This is, <laughs> why are these so easy? I think all Supreme Court justices should be raised to be one from birth. Yeah, like the, the kings of Egypt. <laughs> you don't even have to be American to be a Supreme Court justice. Yeah, there's been judges from other countries like Scotland, England, and Turkey. Turkey? Well, that explains why that one judge in the 80s kept trying to get us to nuke Armenia. <laughs> Yeah, and why that dude from England just kept saying, we should consult the queen. I don't understand how we, like, we we don't allow presidents to come from other countries, but we do allow, like, people who have grown up in horrible court systems run our court system. <laughs> yeah. really make any sense. You could appoint a Supreme Court justice that's like, well, where I come from, we just take their fingers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> a lot of finger claws is introduced. Public hangings are really making a strong comeback <laughs> yeah. ever since we got some people from the Middle East <laughs> on the Supreme Court. No, we can't draw and quarter them, Abdullah. <laughs> All right, what are you fucking talking about? <laughs> this isn't Constantinople or wherever you're fucking from. <laughs> yeah, women not being allowed to vote, making a also huge comeback. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe that's why... Uh, it took so long for pot to get legal around America, you know, because they heard stoning and they're like, no, we don't stone. <laughs> yeah. I don't know a lot about America, but I know they don't do stoning. <laughs> yeah, they don't do stone. I'm pretty sure that's the, one of the things we take pride in. <laughs> it's hard to picture a Supreme Court justice outside living a normal life. It probably isn't a normal life. Like, you think Brett Kavanaugh drops his kids off at soccer practice? Yeah, their uncles are secret service agents. They definitely don't have a normal life. The, the new justice nominee just got flown in in a private jet. Why don't public servants take regular airlines or ride a subway anymore? Reality is turning into, like, a futuristic dystopian TV show, and not even a good one. Like a shitty, cliche Netflix sci-fi show where you know it's going to happen the whole time. When I think about Supreme Court justices, I just picture them always in that building in robes, sitting around a table, deciding if we get less rights or more rights. And it's never, they're never like, more rights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're always like, is it okay to take this right away? <laughs> Ruth Bader Ginsburg died, and women are now worried that they aren't going to have reproductive rights anymore. Maybe women do have it 
a little bit worse. Women were only one death removed from having to worry about some of their rights. I'm like the entire government away from worrying about my rights. Even if they all died, we'd still have the police. We'll be fine. No burkas for me, thank you. RBG is the first woman and the first Jewish person to lie in state at the U.S. Capitol. I thought lying at the Capitol was what all politicians did. To be fair, they've only been allowed to hold office for like the last hundred years. Who, women? No, Jews. <laughs> I love that we leave the bodies of leaders out in the Senate for like a week after they die. <laughs> yeah, they're like, hey, hey, come here. Remember that super important government official who did all kinds of great stuff for this country? You want to see their dead body? <laughs> yeah, it's right fucking here. Crazy, right? Who started this tradition? The president's older brother? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you want to see something fucking sick? Look at this dead. What are you, fucking scared? Pussy? Come on, it's <laughs> Ruth Bader Ginsburg corpse. <laughs> Hey, if you don't look at this body, I'm not letting you use the PS4 later. <laughs> Ginsburg's personal trainer showed up and did a bunch of push-ups in front of her coffin in the middle of the Capitol. That's not even the most ridiculous part. The most ridiculous part is that he did it in a suit. <laughs> like, I was going to squat her coffin, but I got to return the suit. It's a rental. Yeah, it's like a dress code thing. I tried to show up in a wife beater and shorts. They didn't let me in. <laughs> this was her final wish. Not to wait until the next president to pick her replacement, but to be front squatted under the skylight at the U.S. Capitol. <laughs> also, uh, something about not being replaced until the next president. But, uh, hey, I got to return this suit in an hour, so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> can't argue about it. <laughs> I would argue if you guys let me in in the tank top, but whatever, man. <laughs> yeah. That's... You wasted valuable rental time. <laughs> I got to return the suit in an hour, and I got to go move Joe Biden's arms around for him <laughs> at around three, so I got to get going. Why does the president pick the justices? Of all the things we should get to vote for, that sounds like a super important one. Otherwise, it's just going to be heavily Republican or Democrat. Actually, 14 of the last 18 appointed judges have been by Republican presidents. They should just make it where every president gets to replace one judge max per term. These judges got to start knowing when they're in their last years, take an L and let a different president pick. Yeah. We shouldn't be celebrating Ruth Bader Ginsburg for how long she held on. We should be criticizing her for not killing herself during Obama. You knew it was at stake. I think they can retire, too. Fuck that. Trump has already picked two justices in the last four years and is about to pick a third. How is beating a drug charge harder to get over than beating a treason charge? You can't run a fake college anymore, but you can decide a third of the people who decide most of our rights. Trump nominated Amy Coney Barrett to replace RBG because... He's really hoping some women will still vote for him as long as he picks, like, another woman with three names. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> people forget that women can be bad people, too. <laughs> yeah, like Kim Jong-un's sister, Jada Pinkett Smith. We know what you did, Jada, and we don't forgive you. <laughs> will Smith is a saint. <laughs> He's a fucking national treasure. <laughs> what have you been in? I can't name anything. <laughs> Gotham? <laughs> God, Gotham sucks. <laughs> They're saying the Supreme Court hasn't been this conservative since the 1930s. Well, that's good. Nothing bad happened in the 30s. Yeah, if I remember correctly, those were the glory days of America, right? <laughs> I don't think anywhere was good <laughs> in the 1930s in the entire world. <laughs> I think there was everywhere was awful in the 1930s. I can't think of one place where it was okay. Maybe that's what make America great again means. Make America great depression again. Yeah, Magda. At least he kept one of his promises then. Also, you can't call Trump people conservatives. Yeah, conservative people wear sleeves. <laughs> yeah, they have suits and stuff on. The Trump uniform isn't the MAGA hat. It's the ripped off t-shirt sleeve. <laughs> it's the clothes they're not wearing. <laughs> it's like jazz. They're like, no, wife beaters are for poor Democrats. Democrat voters, right? <laughs> <laughs> Ripped off t-shirt sleeves are for poor Trump voters. Yeah, yeah, we we have enough money to buy the full sleeve, but we get rid of them anyway. <laughs> we don't have enough money for jackets, but we do have enough money for t-shirts. <laughs> There's a basketball court on the top floor of the Supreme Court, and they call it the highest court in the land. And that's just way too whimsical for a building that gets to decide if trans people can use a bathroom. Sorry, recess took a few extra minutes. Stodemeyer crossed me up, posterized me, and I just couldn't recover. <laughs> Anywho, uh, we find you guilty and sentence you to life in prison. 
Man, I love this guy. <laughs> Who the hell on the Supreme Court has enough stamina to play basketball? All right, who's on who's on my team? Who's on my team this, this time? <laughs> hey, didn't you hear you're going to jail? Go get out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't play this game. You can't play, no. You got to play the last one, but now. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that you've been convicted. How come this is the only thing the government has decided to do quickly? Yeah, don't they owe us another COVID relief package still? They're like, we, we can't give you any money, but we can get another lady lady to uh to decide it's unconstitutional to give you more money right now <laughs> yeah the president's like hey this is important to make sure i don't go to jail and we're like hey we're hungry <laughs> um top five favorite supreme court justices go <laughs> uh um stuck up on clothes hangers <laughs> man it's pretty crazy though like Whoever gets elected to the Supreme Court has a direct effect on clothes hanger sales over the next <laughs> years. <laughs> Dude, how come everything that happens this year makes us have to stockpile things? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting really sick of stockpiling. <laughs> yeah. Good times usually aren't times where you have to stockpile a lot. <laughs> yeah. Good times are things are plentiful and <laughs> bounty. Good times like where you're stockpiling like meat from Costco because you're having a big barbecue, not <laughs> yeah, like things for You've got a bunch of money. Survival. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh Yeah. We'll see you guys next week for a uh um for another two dumb babies. Thanks for watching. Bye. Two dumb babies. I love good NASA slander, man. That's fucking my favorite. With Willie Simon and Eric Fried. I would like all of you to know we're not in this together. Thank you guys for listening. You can follow the show at Two Dumb Babies on all social media. Please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we drop the animated episodes, behind the scenes, and additional content. We'll see you all on another episode of Two Dumb Babies. Bye-bye, dummies.